I suddenly realized that I really had a palate for good Bordeaux. And I just said, you know what? I don't want to be a geneticist. I want to be an alcoholic. If Paso Robles didn't succeed, Everly Winery wasn't going to succeed. And we flew all over the United States promoting Paso Robles. Gary really had the vision to put Paso on the map. I mean, here's a guy that can literally go sell wine out of his place, hit, you know, a market or two, and then come back in time for dinner. I mean, that's like... I show up and I go, hi, hi, Mr. Everly, I'm Tobin James. I'm here to work for you. He goes, who are you? Toby and I built Everly. I hired him at Estrella. He worked over there as a rat. The Paso Appalachian was the sixth in the U.S. When the food revolutions really hit, we were just poised for the perfect explosion. I was going to Penn State no matter what. Like, whose mentors are like Joe Paterno and Robert Mondavi? He never taught me a damn thing about making wine, but he taught me a whole lot about selling wine. I've got a, a spectacular winemaker in Chris Eberly. He's not here because he's Eberly. If his name was Mutalutz, I would still have him here. To this day, I have no idea why. I felt like the USS Arizona on December 7th. Several people said, man, you should sue them. You should go after them. No, I've got my wine right back. This is what I wanted. This is my life. I will die owning Everly Winery because there's nothing else I want to do. I, I enjoy this so much.